to Local Kitchen. I'm here with special guest chef Ian Matfin, who's about to get cooking. Ian, what are you going to start with? So the dish today yeah. is a saddle of venison. Yeah. We're going to do some fondant potato. We've got some braised lettuce, some wild mushrooms, some broad beans and a red wine sauce. First things first, we'll obviously take the venison saddle off the bone. Yeah. So I'm just going to run my knife very hard, just hard against the bone then. As we get to the bottom, the bone will sort of angle out. And then all we're going to do is just going to remove the top part of the sinew. So Fabulous. there we are. We'll just pop that in the bin. Yeah. I love venison. So we're just going to leave the venison for now. We'll get that on cooking in a moment. But first and foremost, I need to start with the fondant potato. So all we've done is peel the potato. We're just going to take the end off, top and bottom of it, and then literally just push it through. All we've yeah. got to do, we'll be a bit sort of chefy. We'll just make sure we trim it all up. And then we'll just pop it out of the ring so you get a lovely round potato. We're just going to pop the butter in there. And all we're going to do, season the top of it and the bottom of it with salt and pepper. As you can hear, the butter just starting to go nicely there. Okay, so the fondant's in with the butter. What we're going to now add is the thyme and the garlic. We're just going to move on with the venison now. So I'm just going to pop the frying pan on and we'll get that up and running quite quickly so we can get that cooking. So what we've got in there, we've just got a lovely piece of venison. We'll just give that a really nice coloration. We're just going to tip the whole thing into the tray. And then we're just going to pop that into a very hot oven. We're now going to move on to the rest of the garnish. The baby gem lettuce. Let's cut the lettuce in half. And then very lightly just remove the core. We're going to start warming that pan up, that's mm. going to be for our mushrooms. Just to bind it, we're just going to add a little bit of the sauce. But not too much? Not too much, just to help yeah. mix it together, Rachel. Little mix around that round. And we're good to plate now. So there we have our final dish, local venison, fondant potato, braised gem lettuce, broad beans, wild mushrooms and a red wine sauce. So Ian, what's next? So next dish, local asparagus. So first we're going to do, just chop a few shallots. Yes. pan, tiny little bit of butter, it doesn't have to be warm, we'll just let that melt really really slowly and we just that will just go on top of our toast. Yeah. Now we'll move on to the sourdough, I'm just going to start warming this pan because we're just going to toast it ever so slightly. So all we're going to do, we're going to put a little bit of oil in there, take with a knife, we're just going to take the end off and just cut a nice thick generous slice of the sourdough. Now onto the asparagus, very simple, boiling salted water. We can pop that on the plate. We can then pop that pan back on there. We can add a touch more oil. We're going to do a lovely fried duck egg. Do you know, I like, I like it when it's fried for a change. Most people do poached eggs. To do it crispy and fried is lovely. While that's frying, we're just going to quickly finish off the asparagus. The water's boiling. We can just pop that straight in. So we're now going to start to plate it up. There you go. Lovely, thank you very much. A spoon? Yes, please. So we've got our beautiful toasted sourdough. Mm. 
this is our local asparagus, fried duck egg, toasted sourdough and Lincolnshire poacher cheese. So our last dish of the day, strawberry salad, vanilla cream, strawberry granola, strawberry sorbet. That's bang on trend. First job we're going to do is we're going to make the meringue. Egg whites. And we're just going to put in a bit of sugar to start it off. And all we're going to do is just smooth that as best you can onto the paper that you're going to use. We've got this freeze-dried strawberry powder. We're just going to put a little bit in the sieve and we're just going to lightly dust it over the top. We're just going to pop this into the top oven. OK, honey. 100 degrees for yeah. about an hour. We can now move on to the vanilla cream. So what we've got in there, cream, milk, we've got some fresh vanilla pod. So what we've got, cast the sugar into our bowl. Yeah. Our cream is just coming to the boil. A couple of eggs. Milk and cream's come to the yeah. boil. We're just going to pour half of our milk and cream and vanilla into the yolks. We're just going to pop that back into there, get it all out, and then we'll just whisk it. While that's cooling, mm -hmm. I'm just going to soften some gelatine in some cold water. Mm -hmm. So how much are you putting in? A I'm leaf? only putting a leaf in, yeah, it doesn't need much. We can just pop that in there like that. We can move that off to the side now yeah. and we can move on to the final part of this dish okay. before we start assembling, which is the strawberry sorbet. Okay. So what we've got here, some strawberry puree. Yeah. If you just wait to pop that in the blender for me, please, Rachel. Of course. We've got two punnets of our lovely fresh strawberries, but again, all local. What wow. you'll find is adding the puree, then adding the fresh strawberries to it. Yes. Will really intensify that the strawberry flavour, flavor, yeah. so you get that really fresh they strawberry flavour, they're beautiful. We'll just sprinkle a little bit of sugar in there, just for a little yeah. bit of sweetness. Obviously the strawberries are quite sweet. Yeah. And then just a little bit of glucose. And this glucose is just to help it when it goes in the freezer, so yeah. it doesn't go too hard. Okay. And all we need to do then is just literally blitz that up. We've just got a little bit of olive oil mixed yeah. with some fresh vanilla, mm -hmm. which we're just going to help enhance the flavour of the strawberries. couple of things just to finish off. As we all know, strawberries and basil make a great combination. So that's the final dish. Strawberry salad, vanilla cream, strawberry meringue, strawberry sorbet. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Four puddings on one plate. I'm going to ask Kim and Jess if they'd like to come in. Th these are the, the lovely ladies who've actually organised the traditional Thousand Year celebrations at the castle this weekend. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about how, how it's sort of gone and, and what you've been doing here. It's gone really well. It's to celebrate the wealth of heritage, crafts and skills that we have in the country. This year we've also given the public the opportunity to see inside the Lincoln Castle Reveal project. That's fantastic. So that's basically inside the prison then? Was yes, it? inside the prison and on the walls. Yeah. It's gone really well. And have you enjoyed this as well, Kim? Absolutely, and I think you can tell that from the faces of everyone that's been here today as well. Yeah. We're so lucky with what we've got here in Lincoln. So I'd like you guys to taste the pudding. Great. Two spoons. Thank you. <laughs> Give some of this sorbet. Mmm. That's really nice. That's so lovely. Well, we've had an 
absolutely fantastic day. Thank you very much, Kim, and thank you, Jess, very much indeed. Haven't we, Ian? We have, yes. I've had a wander around earlier. It was fantastic, and I'm glad I came. I can't thank you enough for joining me here in Local Kitchen as well, and I've really enjoyed your dishes. They're really fantastic, and I wish you all the best with your new venture. Thank you. Well, that's it for today. We've had a brilliant time here at Lincoln Castle, and I can't wait to see it when all the restorations are complete in 2015. Information about today's recipes and ingredients are on our website, mm -hmm. localkitchen.tv. See you next time for more delicious local food on Local Kitchen. Goodbye! <laughs>